Hey ladies and gentlemen and special ladies, today is the International Women's Day. I'm going to wish you the best girls and I want to say thank you to the gods because the only man's world without you babies will be completely different. So thank you that you are exist. But we continue our reading journey and I'm going to finish the story. We started three days ago and today is the fourth part. So let's begin. To this, to his intense surprise, Thomas felt himself lifted by the collar and dragged without a word of explanation to the front door. This was, this was opened and he was kicked forcibly down the steps with one heavy disillusioning, humiliating impact of this Stupendos, 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 I got the word, Arabian's shoe. As soon as, as the ex-coachman had recovered his feet and hit his wits, he has, hastened, hastened as fast as he could eastward towards Portway. Crazy guy was his estimate of the mysterious Automobilist just wanted to have some fun kidding, I guess. He might have dug up a dollar anyhow. Now I got to hurry up and get back to that gang of bum bed hunters before they all get preached to sleep. When Thomas reached the end of his two mile walk, he found the ranks of the homeless reduced to a squad of perhaps eight or ten. He took the proper place of a newcomer at the left end of the rear rank. In the file in the front of him was the young man who had spoken to him of hospitals and something of a wife and child. Sorry to see you back again, said the young man turning to speak to him. I hoped you had struck something better than this. Me, said Thomas. Oh, I just took a run around the block to keep warm. I see the public ain't leading to the Lord very fast tonight. In this kind of weather, said the young man, charity awails itself. Of the proverb the whales and Bob begins and ends at home and now the preacher and his vehement we vehement lieutenant struck up vehement vehement am I pronouncing it right we him and lieutenant struck up last hum h y m m hum of petition to providence and man those of the bad liners whose windpipes still registered about 32 degrees hopelessly and turn tunelessly tune la tune Lastly, join in tunelessly. In the middle of the second verse, Thomas saw a sturdy, sturdy girl, sturdy girl, with wind tossed drapery battling against the priest and coming straight toward him from the opposite sidewalk. Annie, he yelled and ran towards her. You fool, you fool, she cried, weeping and laughing and hanging upon his neck. Why did you do this? Why did you do it? Sorry. This stuff, explained Thomas briefly, you know, but subse subsequently neat. Neat, neat, N-I-T. Not a drop. He led her to the crap. Curb. Crap. 
crab carp he led her to the crab carp sorry carp k e r p how did you happen to see me how did you happen to see me i came to find you said Annie, holding tight to his sleeve oh you big fool professor chebosca told us that we might find you here professor che don't know the guy what saloon does the work in does he work in he's a clear want clear voyant clear voyant clear voyant thomas the greatest in the world he found you with the Chaldean tail telescope he said he is a liar said thomas i never had it i never saw he never saw me have anybody's telescope and he said you came in a chariot chariot with five wheels or something any said thomas so solely Saliciously, saliciously, saliciously. You're giving me the wills now. If I had a chariot, chariot, sorry, I, I'd have gone to bed in it too long ago, and without any signing and preaching, for a nightcap either. Listen, you big fool. The missus says she'll take you back. I beg her too. But you must behave. And you can go up to the house tonight and you all your old room over the stable is ready. Great said Thomas earnestly, 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 earnestly. You are it, Annie. But when did these stunts happen? Stunts. Stunts. Tonight at Professor Chibuskus. He sent his automobile for the missus and she took me alone. I've been there with her before. What's the professor, professor's line? He's a clear voyant. Clear voy, voyant and wit. Witch. And the witch. Is a clairvoyant and the witch. The missus consults him. He knows everything, but he hasn't done the missus any good yet. Though she paid, she's paid him hundreds of dollars. But he told us that the stars told him we could find you here. What's the old lady want this cherry buster to do? That's a family secret, said Annie. And now you're asked enough questions. Come home, come on home, you big fool. They had moved, but a little way up the street when Thomas stopped. Got any dove? Dove. Dove. D O R G H. Dove. Got any dove with you, any? He asked. And he looked at him sharply. Oh, I know what. That look means, said Thomas, you're wrong. Not another drop. But there is a guy that was standing next to me in the bed line over there that's in a bad shape. He is the right kind and he's got wives or kids or something. And he's on the sick list. No booze. If you could dig up half a dollar for him so he could get a decent bed and like it. And, it. and his fingers began to wriggle in her purse. Sure, I've got money, said she. Lots of it, twelve dollars. And then she added, with women's in a decable, in radical, in radicable suspicion and ridiculous suspicion of 
vicarious. Wow. Vicarious. Benevolence. Inner ineradicable ineradicable suspicion of vicarious vicarious benevolence bring him here and let me see him first thomas went on his mission the when ben liner came really enough as the two drew near and he looked up for from his her purse and screamed mr walter oh mr walter is that you annie said the young man weakly oh mr walter and the miss mrs hunting high and low for you the and the missus hunting high and low 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 to you does mother want to see me he asked with a flush coming out on his pale cheek he has been hunting for you high and low sure she wants to see you she wants you to come home she tried she's tried tried police and more more yes Morgus <gasps> Morgus It's the place where is uh dead people lie and lawyers and advertising that and that directives and rewards and everything and then she took up clear voyance clear voyance clear voyance You'll go right you'll go right home, won't you, Mr. Walter? Gladly if she wants me, said the young man. That three years and a long time. Three years is a long time. I suppose I have to walk up, though, unless the street cars are given free rides. I used to walk and beat that old plague team of buys buys buy we used to drive to the carriage have they got them yet they have said thomas feelingly 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 and they'll have them 10 years from now the life of the royal elephant elephant bus Wow, truck horse bus, truck horse bus, elephant bus, royal elephant bus, truck horse bus. I don't know what this man is. The hundred and forty nine years. I'm a coachman. Just got my reappointment five minutes ago. Let's all ride up in the surface car. That is a. Er, that is er uh, if any will pay the the fares <sighs> on the Broadway car any handed each one of the pro prodigals 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 pro prodigal prodigals and nickel to pay the conductor seems to me you're mighty reckless mighty reckless my terrakos i barely understand the the words the way seems seems to me you are mighty reckless the way you throw large sums of money around said thomas sarcastically in that purse said any decidedly is exactly 12 sorry 11 11 85 i shall take every cent of it tomorrow and give it to professor chabuska the greatest man 
man in the world. Well, said Thomas, I guess he must be a pretty fly guy to pipe off things the way he does. I'm glad his spooks told him where you could find me. If you give me his address, someday I will go up there myself and shake his hand. Presently, Thomas moved tentatively, 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 in his seat and told thoughtfully, thoughtfully, and thoughtfully felt an abrasion, an abrasion or two of his knees and elbows. Say any, said he confidentially, maybe it's one of the last dreams of the booze. But I have a kind of recollection of a recollection of riding, riding in an automobile with a small guy, swell guy that took me to a house full of eagles and the arc lights. He fed me on biscuits and hot air and then kicked me down the front steps. If it was the deeds, why am I so sore? Sore. Shut up, you fool, said Annie. If I could find that funny is funny guy's house, said Thomas, in conclusion, I would go up there someday and punch his nose for him. Thank you, guys. Thank you, ladies. And see you tomorrow on the next story. Bye.